Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're a returning viewer, thanks guys, we really appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, stick around guys, you're gonna love this one. If you're into barbecue, this is for you, 100%. So today, we're gonna be doing shotgun shells. We're gonna be doing something slightly different with these. Okay guys, we're gonna show you how to turn these into one of these. And you're gonna love it, oh yes. So all we need now is the ingredients. What? Well, I'm not gonna say no. I'll have a cup of tea. Nice cup. Cheers, Heath Glaze. That's better. So what we got here is some finely grated cheese. You can use any cheese you want. This is a strong cheddar. We've got hot lemon chili. I very finely sliced up one hot lemon chili pepper. I did devein it and I also removed the seeds. Now. Most people know chilies get a lot of their heat from the seeds and the veins. We've also got some very finely chopped up spring onion. That's gonna add a nice little crispiness to the flavor. Two garlic cloves, finely chopped. Got to have a bit of garlic in there. Also what we did is we finely chopped up some chorizo sausage. Now that is gonna add a lot of flavor and the oil from the chorizo sausage will definitely make them juicy and succulent. I've gone for 5% fat purely because we've got the chorizo and the, the oils that's going to release, you don't need to go a high fat on this. That's what we're doing with that. Then we're going to wrap them in bacon. One of your favorite rubs. And you also need some of these, some big pasta shells. So I've chose these ones. They're nice and short. They're perfect for filling. And also when you get one rasher of bacon, you can wrap it round and then go across ways as well, just to seal it in. You've got to seal all that flavor in, right? Also, what I've seen people do is slightly boil these before using them. The problem with that is if you do that, they break very easily. So the way to get around that is when you make them, put them in the fridge for at least three hours. I mean, you could put them in the fridge and leave them overnight and then cook them the next day. That way it allows this to soften up slightly and when you cook them and bite into them, they're softer. So let's get to prepping. Go have a sip of that tea. Okay, so I forgot to mention, this is about 750 grams of minced meat. What we need to do, what I find best with this is to not overwork it too much and also spread it out quite a bit, as much as you can. So get it in a big tray like this, spread it out quite a bit. So we're gonna go in with the cheese first. We're gonna spread that cheese in. By doing this, you're, you're mixing it better. It's easier to mix in thoroughly all the way through. So if you spread it out and do this, you can get, get it quite evenly spread out, you know? Right, okay, so garlic. Let's get some garlic in there, spread that all in. So we're gonna hit it with the spring onion, green onion in America. Right, now guys, we're gonna go with the chili. So we've gotta be careful with this. We do wanna spread this out as much as possible. So I'm gonna go a bit higher. It's gonna add a bit of heat, not too much. As I say, I deveined it, took the seeds out, very finely chopped. So you get a very small amount per bite. And as I say, these, these have been a trending thing all summer. I'm a bit late to the party, but I just thought I'd give it a try and put my own little twist on them. There we go, guys. Like I say, you can see there's a nice amount, just half that sausage there is plenty for that. We're not gonna season. Now, I showed you the rub, the season. We're not gonna season that because this is gonna have so much flavor, you don't need to season the inside. We're literally gonna season them just before we grill them, just that bacon that's wrapped around. So with that being said, let's get to mixing. Fold it over, mix it all in. Don't, as I say, try not to overwork it. Okay, guys, that is it. So let's get to stuffing these. So we're just gonna stuff it in like so, all the way down. Okay guys, there you go. So that's one. I'm just gonna fill these all first, then I'm gonna wrap them in bacon all together. So you're just stuffing it in gently because you don't wanna break them. You know, they're quite thin. They tend to crack quite easily. So you wanna use your little finger there just to get it down. See what I mean? You just wanna push it right to the end, stop there, and then just carry on packing it in. Just repeat this, carry on. So I'll, I'll get back with you guys in a minute. Okay guys, so we've got a fair amount of these done now. I mean, you can see the chorizo, the onion, the chili, all mixed in there, it's looking great. Let's get wrapping these bad boys up. So as I say, get nice and tight, pull really tight, as tight as you can get it, till you're almost ripping that bacon and then over. As I say, the size of these ones are perfect to get a complete covering. That way you're gonna seal in some of that goodness because let me tell you, that chorizo is gonna release so much oil inside that and make for such an awesome flavor. I mean, most people 
on the ones I've seen, they go round and round and round and they leave the ends open and it, all that goodness oozes out. I mean, still gonna ooze out, but less is gonna ooze out and that is what is flavor. So, okay guys, I'm gonna carry on, get this done, get these in the fridge and then I'll catch you later out there in the absolute nasty weather and we'll get these on the grill. I mean, we're in England, it is what it is. I'm still barbecuing, I'm doing it all the way through the winter. Let's go. Cheers, guys. All right, let's get these done. Okay, guys, here we are. Just before we put them in the fridge, we're just gonna add that little layer of flavor. This is Angus and Oink, Fool's Gold. Really good rub. Use any rub you want. It don't, really doesn't matter to your flavor preference. I mean, you don't have to add a rub. It's just up to you guys what you wanna do. Okay, guys, so there you go. Ain't gotta go mad. Just get a bit of a covering over them. Catch you in a few hours. <laughs> Okay guys, so we're at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna get these on. They've been in the fridge for just over four hours. We're rolling plenty of smoke here. I've got two big, nice chunks of cherry. Want to incorporate that smoke flavor into these. Put it by putting the rub on, we've added some sweetness to it. Inside, you've got all those other flavors going on. Boy, are these gonna be good. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get them on. I've put the deflector plate on this. Very rarely use the deflector plate, but we're going indirect with this cook. So I've put that in there we're going to put these on this little tray in the middle and just give them a good hour here we go guys wish them luck enjoy that smoke catch you in about an hour guys oh i cannot wait <laughs> nice bit of smoke yes that's what it's all about It's now time to sauce them. Oh, yes, look at that. I've gone for Angus and Oink, Kansas City red sauce. That's hot. Wear gloves, guys. Let's get glazing them. I've gone for this one as well because in color, this is a lot more red in the respect of color. So as well as flavor, it brings out the color in the bacon. It's just absolutely gonna add all aspects you know presentation is everything as we will see in the photo just going to tack that on and then they're ready to go these are going to be juicy as i say we've done an hour at 300 degrees fahrenheit kansas city barbecue sauce red house barbecue it's good stuff guys it is genuinely good stuff that's it five ten minutes and they'll be done they turned out awesome that rub perfect combination with that sauce as i say you can use any rub any sauce of your choice it really doesn't matter but i have got to say the red color really does bring out the color in the bacon it's flavor as well it really is a great sauce but they're looking good mm, truly excuse me man you've got that garlic you've got that onion you've got that chili you've got the cheese very simple ingredients mixed in with that beef mince, the chorizo. Man, when you get into that chorizo, that pops in there as well. That's awesome. I've got to have another one. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it really is genuinely like eating a beefy, a bit like a meat feast pizza. So I'm going to call this pizza shotgun shells. It works, guys. It really does. Genuinely, mwah, perfect. Guys, you got to try it. As I say, they wasn't cooked, the shells. That's why it was so important, and I keep going on about it, to put them in the fridge for at least three to four hours to let that shell soften up. Don't get me wrong, when you cook them, all the fats come out of that. If you added more fatty meat, we, we added less fatty meat purely because we had the chorizo in there. You get all that oils coming out, and that is what softens them up. Obviously the fat on the bacon as well, wrapped around them. And as I say, seen lots of people do it all through the summer. I just wanted to put my own little twist on them 
just to make them a bit of my own recipe if you like i don't i don't think anyone's done chorizo sausage with beef in these with garlic and you know chili onion spring onion green onion if that's what you guys want to call it we call it spring onion don't don't hate me awesome give it a go if you like the video please give it a thumbs up to let youtube know that you guys are loving what i'm doing if you haven't subscribed subscribe please it doesn't cost you a penny get on it guys videos going out weekly i've got to stop eating these cheers guys i'll catch you next week see you later mate these are awesome i just cannot believe i've never done this variation oh man do you want some get over here come on <laughs> loads guys loads here come grab some guys i've got to start tidying up i've been out here all day in the rain oh, it's all good fun though i love it oh mate i'm gonna have to have that top one. Oh yeah mm.